Hello, good evening and welcome back. We've got mostly cloudy skies over the capital city this check in. And as we take a look around the region, we're finding pretty much the same thing. The only exception is we've got some rain that's coming down in portions of Connecticut and in some places it's a lot of rain. But for us here, uh, what we're expecting is increasing humidity. This is going to be peaking tomorrow. So as we look ahead, not only will we peak the humidity, we're also going to have some pretty ideal conditions to make thunderstorms develop. We're going to have heat in place. We're going to have high humidity in place, and that's going to lead to an unsettled start to the week ahead with the chance of not only showers, but thunderstorms through Monday as well. That will continue into the first half of Tuesday, and then after that, conditions are going to be so beautiful in southern New England, it's just going to knock your socks off. But we do have one item of note attention beachgoers because we have dangerous rip currents that are expected on south and southeastern facing beaches of southern New England and high surf as well and I'll talk more about that in a sec how about now um, our high rip current uh, risk basically says dangerous swimming conditions are going to be out there our water temperatures are in the 70s but we have waves that are running at about six feet it also leads to extensive beach erosion and this is in effect through Monday evening this initially was set to expire this evening but has been expanded You'll notice it does include southern New England beaches that are open ocean facing. Buzzards Bay is safe by the way, um, and then the Cape uh, is also included within our alert for the high wave. So here's Ernesto and Ernesto is not expected to make a direct uh, impact in any landmass, but it does have an indirect impact in terms of raising up the waters as it moves up the East Coast. Now, this is a, a storm that has developed into a hurricane and then backed off to a tropical storm last night and now is back to a category one hurricane. It has current maximum sustained winds of 75 miles per hour, maximum wind gusts near 90 miles per hour, and it is moving towards the north northeast at 17 miles per hour. Now it is expected to hold category one strength through till about say Monday night. After that, it's going to downgrade likely to a tropical storm as it continues its journey into the northern mid Atlantic, where it's essentially going to meet much colder water and therefore not have access to the engine that keeps it going. Warm water is key for a tropical system to keep going. So without that, it goes away. But yeah, even though the system's not going to be coming here, it is influencing us in a different way. Our current temperatures in the 70s, our current dew points, are running in the 60s and it is muggy out there, no doubt about it. But we do have some really good news. Um, even though they will be peaking tomorrow, dew points then drop dramatically into the 50s and for us in southern New England dew points in the 50s is a great and wonderful thing in the summertime. If you've got anything to paint a house fence, whatever you want. Uh, Mother Nature is going to help you with that. Get things dry real quick. Winds are generally pretty light moving in from the southeast. That southeasterly wind is also helping to keep us with some mist and drizzle at times. Here's your heavy rain moving across Connecticut, and we do have flash flood warnings that have been issued from basically New Haven right up 91 into Hartford for that reason. Now, we will be tapping into some of that, but by the time that line gets here, it's going to be a fraction of what it was. So it's just a chance of showers, and that'll take us through the early morning hours to tomorrow as well. So with all of that said, our extended forecast has a return to drier conditions and a return to sunshine. Take a look at your extended forecast. We're also going to see a trend where temperatures will be running cooler than average, and that will take us right into next weekend. Ian?